Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture, we shall consider a numerical to design an IIR digital IIR filter. The numerical says the normalized low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 1 radian per second is given as HP of S is equal to 1 divided by S plus 1. Using BLT technique, design a corresponding digital IIR low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 15 hertz and a sampling rate of 90 hertz. So let's begin with the solution. The task is to design a digital IIR filter, but we know that we cannot design digital filter straight away. First we need to design analog filter, then I need to apply BLT technique so that I can get a digital filter towards the end. The very first task is uh, I need to convert the frequencies in Hertz to radian per second. So let me write the same thing. The frequencies in radian per second the frequencies in radian per second will be omega d is equal to 2 pi f what is that f it is 15 hertz so let me write 2 phi into 15 hence i'm going to get 30 pi radian per second so what must be t? t is equal to 1 divided by the sampling rate fs. So I'm going to get this as 1 divided by 90 seconds. Right? Yes. So we have got three steps here while converting, while designing a digital IIR filter. So let's start with step number 1. So what is this? We need to calculate the pre-warped analog frequency so let me write the same thing the pre-warped analog frequency what does this mean the task is to design a digital filter but I already said we cannot design a digital filter in the first go so first we need to design an analog filter to design an analog filter we need to have analog specifications but whatever the specifications are given they are with respect to digital filter hence I need to make use pre warped analog frequency specification so how do I calculate those things we know that we have a formula for that omega e is omega a is equal to 2 divided by t tan of omega d into t divided by 2. So let's substitute and I'm going to get the frequencies in analog domain. 2 divided by what is t? So we got it as 1 divided by 90 tan of omega d which is 30 pi we just have uh, calculated that and uh, t it is 1 divided by 90 so I would write 30 pi divided by 90 that gets divided by 2 so let's solve this what I'm going to get here I'm going to get uh, 180 tan of pi divided by 6 so what I'm going to get now, so I would get 180 into tan of 30 degree. So if I calculate this, ultimately I am going to get omega A is equal to 103.92 radian per second. So this is what we have got in analog domain. So we have calculated that the frequency specification in analog domain. So that is the first step. So what is the second step? So let me consider the second step. Here I need to apply the prototype transformation from low pass to low pass. From low pass prototype to 
a low pass filter with required specifications therefore i would write h of yes is equal to the prototype transfer function hp of yes so what i have to do here is i need to replace every yes with yes divided by omega a so that i need to perform so that is equal to 1 divided by hp of yes is 1 divided by yes plus 1 so yes needs to be replaced with yes divided by omega a plus 1 so if i solve this i'm going to get omega a divided by yes plus omega a is that okay yes so what is omega a we know that we just have calculated in the previous step we got it as 103.92 radian per second hence i'll keep it as it is that gets divided by s plus 103.92 so this is what the transfer function h of yes so this is the transfer function of an analog filter so now moving on further i can go on to the last step wherein i can convert an analog filter to its digital filter how by applying blt so let me write the same thing by applying bilinear transformation i'm going to get the transfer function of a digital filter so this i'm going to write it as h of z is equal to h of yes so what should i replace i should replace yes with 2 divided by t into bracket 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse so this substitution i have to do in the expression of h of yes so if i do that i am going to get 103. 92 this gets divided by here i have yes in place of yes it is a 2 by t into bracket 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse so i'm going to get 180 into bracket 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 plus z inverse plus 103.92 so rest is only the simplification of this and get the entire expression in terms of z so now we have moved from analog domain to a digital domain so we are going to get 103.92 i am going to uh, take 1 plus z inverse as the lcm that comes to the numerator i am going to get 1 plus z inverse in the numerator that gets divided by in the denominator we have 180 minus 180 into z inverse plus 103.92 also we have plus 103.92 z inverse right so simplifying this further what I'm going to get, I would get 103.92 plus 103.92 Z inverse that we have in the numerator and in the denominator we are going to have. So let's simplify this 283.92. 180 plus 103.92 that leads to 283.92 minus 180 z inverse plus 103.92 z inverse so that leads to 76.08 z inverse so this is not in the standard form though it is i can call this as the final answer it is not just in the final uh, uh, standard form so what i have to do i have to divide as I said divide numerator and denominator by it is 283.92 
283.92 so if i do that i am going to get 0 0.366 plus 0 0.366 z inverse so this is there in the numerator so that gets divided by what we have in the denominator if i divide by 283.92 so this leads to 1 minus 0 0.2679 z inverse h of z is equal to this one so this is the transfer function of a digital iir filter so this is what has been asked in the numerical and we have we have achieved this towards the end of the step yes this is one of the numericals wherein it was asked to design a digital iir filter i have explained this numerical step by step i hope you people have understood if you still have any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i'm happy to answer those uh, doubts thank you so much for watching